How are you folks doing out there in YouTube land? This video was taken on this Thursday afternoon, July 24th, 2014. Time right now is around 4 p.m. So, this is going to be a rambling video. <laughs> um, flapping my old ugly gums. And uh, I'm going to dedicate this video to Old 64 Goat. So, a little backstory. Back when I first joined YouTube, they had uh, subscribers. You could subscribe to someone or you could be friends with someone. And back then I was friends with all my real life friends on YouTube. So I logged onto YouTube one day and one of my friends went and liked a video. And the video was this guy who made a toilet costume for Halloween. And it was, it was around Halloween time. So I don't know if uh, the old 64 goat, and it was old 64 goat who made the video. I don't know if this was back when he first uploaded the video or it was up for a year or two. I can't remember what year it was. But uh, so I was like, man, this guy's pretty cool. So I started watching his other videos and he was doing a lot of uh, simple electronics tutorials. And uh, I subscribed to him because I thought it was pretty neat. He had a workshop and he was more into the analog stuff and he was showing how to use old test equipment, you know. And I'm into electronics if you guys follow my videos. but. I'm more into the dig digital side, I guess. You know, I don't have a capacitor testing meter like he did. He had a big, uh, you know, lab with all this old test equipment. So I thought it was pretty neat. And then uh, slowly but surely after being subscribed to him for many years, uh, he's probably my most favorite YouTuber because he doesn't, he's not like one of these big YouTubers. He doesn't do it for the money. He just likes to make videos and he does some really cool projects. He even uh, made a ventriloquist. Uh, and started doing a, a ventriloquist doll and started doing uh, skits, uh, my Uncle Dorkle. And then he even uh, went and like rehabbed it and made it electronic, put motors in it, put solenoid for the mouth. And if you guys follow my videos, that's like right up my alley. I try to do uh, things like that. He's really good. He doesn't give himself a lot of credit, but he's just really good at getting stuff done. It, he does a lot of project videos. I like... He does a lot of flapping videos. He does a lot of uh, uh, coffee drinking and chicken eating uh, videos. I don't drink coffee, but uh, on this uh, hot, steamy uh, Florida day, it's 92 degrees outside. I put the porch in my background. It's about to storm, so hopefully it'll cool down. I'm going to go and uh, drink some soda since I don't drink coffee. You can slurp soda, but he's easily one of my favorite YouTubers. But I work night shift, and uh, I got up to go to work, but I had some time one night, so I thought I would uh, log on to YouTube, see what's happening. And he posted a video, a uh, trivial video, about his uh, Uncle Dorkle series. So uh, it just so happened the video was just went live when I logged on YouTube. And... Uh, I thought, well, maybe I can get it. So I went back and I started watching. I scanned through the videos. My Uncle Dork, uh, it's called uh, My Uncle Dorkle. That's the video series. Started with one, you did two, three, four. When I got to like two, there was a comment saying that, oh, in episode four, he's going to talk about his nurse. And that was one of the questions with how much his nurse weighed. So I went to episode four and then I just skipped through the videos. When I got to episode eight, uh, three of the questions were about his wives. Episode 8 is when Uncle Dorkle was talking about his wives. So I was able to find the answers and I posted them. And uh, I was the first one to post the answers to all four questions. And I didn't know it at a time because back when I first was, uh, you know, I watched the video and was going through the videos, no one posted anything. I don't have it set up to automatically update on the comments. And after I posted the video, or posted my comment, I saw that other people were commenting. And I beat a guy by two minutes. The second runner-up uh, uh, got the answers right uh, two minutes after me, so it was a close race. It was a lot of fun going through the videos, and I recommend you go and check out his channel, check out his comedy skits. So I ended up winning this contest, to, uh, and uh, the package came in today. It's a lot bigger package than what I thought, thought and it's labeled photos, so I'm going to be uh, unwrapping this package. But uh, one thing I want to address real quick is, you know, YouTube does a lot of changes. And uh, when I went to send 
old 64 go to my address, it, they have this new private message box a system than the old in, inbox system, and it's real messed up. I was able to figure out how to send the message, but it's not, you used to be able to go on someone's channel and click uh, send a message on the channel and then just send them a message. But it's not that simple anymore. And tell you the truth, I don't know. I was at work when I was sending them my, my message. I was on my uh, cell phone. I was able to find it on my cell phone to send them the private message. And um, he's having difficulties using the private message system. So YouTube needs to get on that. I mean, that's a legitimate complaint that they changed this uh, private message system. Made it so difficult. And we all know that they're doing this to try to wean us towards Google+. Plus. And no one likes Google+. Plus. I mean, I forget what Google+, Plus was called when it first came out. It, was, it wasn't called Google+, Plus. it was called something else. And it didn't take off. It didn't take off. No one liked it. Everyone wants to do Facebook. They don't want to do Google+. Plus. And then YouTube, uh, Google went and renamed it to this Google+, Plus. tried to relaunch it. Didn't work out when they relaunched it again. And then they thought, well, our biggest user platform is YouTube, so we're going to go and force it on them. Uh, luckily... Uh, I managed to be able to avoid using Google Plus, and I can keep my old. As you can see, it's my YouTube username down bottom here, Ranham three three five. You know, and that's the whole thing I like about the internet is having usernames. You know, when I first joined the internet, uh, it was unheard of to even post your first name. You know, on on uh, the internet, and now they don't. They won't, don't want and. I can't say it. I can never say this word, but it's anonymity, anonymous. They don't want an anonymity on the internet. Ah, I can't say it. Okay, you guys are making fun of me. I'm flapping my old ugly gums. Let's get to this uh, on uh, unwrapping. So I knew that he was sending it out, but uh, when I opened up my little mailbox, I live in an apartment complex. There was a key laying in the in my mailbox, and I was like, I wasn't expecting a package, but. Uh, it has cardboard in here, you know, big envelope, so that's pretty cool. So let's see what it is. Oh, I want to be careful, I don't want to cut anything. I don't want to cut anything that's not supposed to be cut. Okay, cardboard. Gotta be careful right here. Okay, here we go. So, we got a couple of photos. Old. This one's labeled uh, Uncle Dorkle and Old 64 go Goat. <laughs> Dorkle nude with 4 inch woofer in uh, gut and 2 by 4 inch speakers in chest. So, uh, if you don't want to see Uncle Dorkle nude, uh, go and close your eyes. So, here it is. And this, this guy is neat, man. And he has a whole video series of how he made this guy. It's just really. Uh, Ingenuitive, is that the right term? Like the way that he can just uh, tackle a project doing it little by time. And you know that he had it, you know, he works it out as he goes, but he has the vision in his mind. You know, engineers, when they try to make this kind of stuff, they gotta go and plan everything out ahead of time, but he can just kind of wing it. So, this is, uh, I don't know how good this is showing up. This is uh, Old 64 and Uncle Darkle Nude. Okay, so for those of you closing your eyes because they didn't want to see Uncle Dorkle nude, uh, you can open them now. And this one's labeled Cowboy Dork, old 64 goat. But this is a good one right here. It just, he looks so neat, man. And then uh, we got one of his face. And then we got. Uncle Dorkle, old 64 goat. <laughs> this one's showing off uh, 
old 64, I mean, uh, Uncle Dorkle's chest hair there. But, man, I'm real excited. This is the first contest I won. And I'm definitely, this is my favorite photo. I'm definitely going to hang this photo up. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's good to have a old, uh, ugly mug hanging up in my apartment. But I'm definitely going to, this is my favorite one. The one with the cowboy hat. So, cool. Thank you, uh, old 64 goat. Bill is his name. Thank you, Bill, for uh, sending me the um, photos. That contest was a lot of fun. It's a shame that, uh, it's a shame that, uh, you know, the YouTube system so messed up uh, with the whole private message thing. But maybe you can do uh, trivia questions for, uh, just for fun. See if we can uh, find the references in the video. Uh, He's real, the skits are real good and real original, man. Uh, just coming up with the skits and the backstory about Uncle Dorkle, really entertaining. Like I said, uh, one of my favorite YouTubers brought me tons of entertainment between the skits and the project videos and just the flapping videos. I just enjoy, uh, you know, uh, flapping videos. I enjoy listening to other people's opinions, and uh, that seems to be. Back when YouTube first started, it used to be more personal like that, and people would speak their opinions. Unfortunately, that has gone away. Uh, YouTube it kind of has been overrun by these big YouTubers, and so many people are so critical about other people that they don't want to voice their opinions. But luckily, you know, there's still a handful of good YouTubers that make high quality videos, entertainment, and I just like hearing other people's opinions about things. You know, just he seeing how the weather's like all the way in Connecticut where he's from when I'm down here in Florida. And uh, you see, it looked like when I went out to get the mail, I thought I was going to get rained on. But uh, we managed to avoid it this time. But man, I was real hoping that it was going to um, rain to cool down, cool down quite a bit. I actually, my air conditioner's running nonstop. I had to turn it off for this video. So uh, I'm, I'm going to stop uh, flapping my old ugly gums and uh, end this video now. So uh, yeah, thank you old 64 goat for making YouTube videos and you know being uh, entertaining, creating entertainment. you know So uh, see ya.